So here we have another example of overloaded functions. These functions will represent a jukebox to play music. And um, basically I have uh, version one here will play a single song for 50 cents. And I'm passing in the uh, money, which will be the 50 cents, and then a string to represent the song that we're going to play. And um, then I've overloaded that. Again, same name, different different parameter lists. Uh, this one has four parameters. Uh, we have the money. This will be three songs for a dollar. So we've got the money coming through, and then I have three strings, which I'm calling song one, song two, song three, to represent the three songs. So let's look at the definitions down below. Version one, again, money and song coming through the door. If the money is equal to, look at that double equal sign, if it's equal to 0.5 for 50 cents, we're going to go ahead and play the song. That Whatever, the, we're just printing the name of the song, obviously. We're not playing music in our console application, but these um, backslash 16 character uh, escape sequences are the musical note, so we'll see that at least. And there's a song name. Again, the, the parameter uh, is the song and that we're using that parameter in our code. Um, I did throw an else clause in here. If it's not 50 cents, then we're going to ask the user to insert the correct change. So that was version one. Version two has three songs. And basically, you know, if the money is one dollar, money coming through the door using that parameter name, if the money is one dollar, then we're going to print the three songs parameter names here, song one, song two, song three. Um, or else we're going to say, please insert the correct change. So let's look at the calls in main, the function calls. Uh, I've got a couple of calls to version one here. This one, I'm passing 50 cents. I'm passing a song name. And this one, we're going to see Thriller printed out. This one, I am passing a dollar and a song name to that first version and that's the 50 cent version so that's not going to work it's going to say please insert correct change so that'll be the first two lines of output and then i am going to call the second version of jukebox this is a three for a dollar so i've passed a dollar and three print songs here so let's go ahead and run it we'll see what the output looks like Okay, so this was the um, the, fir the first two lines are to version one, the 50 cent version, and we saw the first one was going to work, this one here, this function call. Um, the second one, I passed a dollar, which is incorrect, please insert correct change. And then the second call, or the, the call to version two, I should say, I passed the three songs and, and there they are.